And beloved in Christ, if you are caught in your life right now in a place where it seems as though God is not with you, like he is so far away and you can't seem to be able to fully understand his love for you. Beloved in Christ, this word is for you. Where is grace found? Beloved, grace is found right where you are. Say to yourself, I am free. Holiness is in me because Christ is in me. Beloved, it is not due to our self-induced efforts of trying to make ourselves holy before God, but knowing that God sees holiness in us due to the fact of Christ being in us. The Word of God says in Romans 20, Romans 5, 20 and 21, Whoever, moreover, the law entered, that the offense might abound, that sin might abound. But where sin abounded, Grace did much more abound. Glory to God. That as sin had reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. Beloved, where sin abounds, Grace abounded much more. Paul was simply saying this to us. Sin does not stop God's grace from flowing. But God's grace will stop sin. So beloved, we have to challenge ourselves with this question. Which is greater? Our sins or God's grace. Beloved in Christ, the answer ought to be obvious. God's grace is always greater. So beloved in Christ, we need to keep going back to the well as often as need be, asking God to forgive us of our faults, our sins, our misgivings, our shortcoming. It is the children's bread and has never been about our feelings. I feel unworthy. I feel as though uh, God will not forgive me any longer. Beloved, you keep going to the well because going to the well implicates that you believe that the well has a supply of grace for you. Amen. Beloved in Christ, may the Lord extend your understanding of his grace and mercy towards you within your heart through the name of Yeshua Jesus the Christ.